I'm sorry, I didn't know you kids are already there. Well, I was just singing and trying to learn dancing with tambourine because this has something to do with our lesson. Let us stand to our feet, raise our arms like this, and pray this with me. God, we welcome your presence today. Have your way in us. Take your seats. Today, we are continuing with our worship series. So, what is worship again? Worship is when we honor and celebrate God to show Him our love. We will learn more about it later on. For now, let us look at our memory verse. Hi kids, it's time to say our memory verse. Our verse is found in Psalms chapter 100 verse 2. It says, Worship the Lord with gladness, come before Him with joyful songs. I would love it if you could stand up and say this verse with me. Repeat after me. Psalms 100 verse 2 Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Psalms chapter 100 verse 2 Let's say it one more time. Psalms chapter 100 verse 2 Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Psalms chapter 100 verse 2 That was so good! Now you may have a seat. Moses lead the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. However, after they left, the Egyptians chased them across the desert. The Bible tells us that God parted the Red Sea and the Israelites crossed safely to the other side. However, the Egyptians were swallowed up by the water and they all drowned. Today, we are going to learn how Moses and his sister Miriam used music to worship God for his protection from the Egyptians. I can't wait for our story time! Let us stand to our feet and get ready to declare the Word of God over us.
nothing's brand new So crazy to believe that Nothing's ever gonna come between All the love that you have for me It's a new day It's good morning. Let me ask you one question. Have you ever felt things were impossible? Our story for today is about a time when the Skrylites were in an impossible situation. But God 
had an unexpected solution. Afterwards, they sang the song of Moses and Miriam, thanking and praising God for His goodness. Now, in the book of Exodus chapter 15 verses 1 to 21, let's see how Moses and Miriam used the music to worship God. Story time, kids! The Israelites were scared. They were trapped. Pharaoh and his army were behind them. During their camp, in front of them was the Red Sea. They felt certain that they would either be drowned or be taken back to the Egypt as slaves. As they come by the Red Sea, God's angel in the pillar of the clouds that had been showing them the way moved behind them. Throughout the night, the one side of the cloud kept Pharaoh's army in darkness. On the other side of the cloud, it looked like fire and gave light and warmth to the Israelites. Now, Pharaoh's army could not get near them. The Lord told Moses to stretch out his hand over the sea, and he did. All night long, God sent wind to blow back the sea. Now, God sent a wind that blew back the sea. The wind caused the sea to divide. Can you imagine that, kids? The sea divides. Now, when it was almost morning, when it was almost morning, the Israelites walked out throughout the sea. Walls of water stood to their left and right as they walked through the sea. But the ground they walked was super, super dry. Pharaoh's army followed them immediately, but they got stuck. Pharaoh's army followed them immediately. They are stuck and couldn't move. Now, the army said, God is with them, or God is with the Israelites. They screamed, let's get away from them. God said to Moses, hold your hand over the sea. Then, the water came crashing back. And all the Pharaoh's army drowned. When the Israelites saw this, they could hardly believe their eyes. They were so relieved and happy. Everyone started singing and praising God. Their song told how God saved them from Pharaoh's army. Moses and Aaron's sister, Miriam, was very happy. She grabbed her tambourine and started dancing and singing. All the other women played their tambourines and danced and sang with her. Moses and Miriam and the Israelites sang about two things at the same time. They sang about being saved while crossing the Red Sea and they may have also been looking forward and singing about what would happen in the future. How God will save His children and take them to live with Him in heaven. Moses worshipped God by singing and Miriam also worshipped with instruments and dancing. Now music is a wonderful way to praise God because it helps us express our feelings and thankfulness. So, we can sing, dance, and play instruments to worship God and celebrate. Now, what does worship mean? It's celebrating God and showing Him our love. In our story, how does Moses use music to worship God? Yes, he sings. His song is about God's power, strength, events, protection, greatness, and love. Moses says that God's great will last forever. Now, how about Miriam? How did she worship God? You're right, kids. She worshiped with a finger, an instrument, and sings. Other women followed her in worship. They also played instruments and dance. Now, Miriam's song was about God's greatness, power, and protection. Now, why do you think music is a great way to worship God? Because it's fun and helps us show how we are in it. Moses worshiped God by singing and Miriam also worshiped his hands and And dancing.
sustain, dance, make moves with your hands towards your drive, and celebrate. We close our eyes, bow our heads, and pray. Thank you for teaching us about worshiping you with music. Help us remember to worship you with alcohol. You alone are worthy of all praises and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today, we learned how Moses and his sister Miriam used music to worship God for his protection from the Egyptians. Moses worshipped God by singing, and Miriam also worshipped with instruments and dancing. Music is a wonderful way to praise God because it helps us express our feelings and thankfulness. So we can sing, dance, and play instruments to worship God and celebrate Him. Music is used throughout the Bible as a form of worship. Today, we still use music to celebrate God and show Him our love. And speaking of showing God our love through music, there are many different styles of worship music. So we can all find something we like to help us celebrate God. This week, I encourage you kids to listen to worship music and express your love to God. Let us pray. God in heaven, thank you for teaching us about the many ways we can express our love to you. Help us, God, to express our love to you, not just in church, but in everyday lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.